Hi friends, I'm here with Travis and we are not in Novato. I don't know if you could see everything behind me and I know it's so beautiful it kind of looks like somebody put a screensaver behind us but nope we are actually in Pilot Lake at the family camp with church having so much yes I know he's very excited he was remembering that he went on another camping trip a few weeks ago and there was a storm remember that he talked about it because he was afraid and then he had a lantern and the light and yes you have your flashlight huh yeah it helps yes that's very true but friends I was wondering if you remember the name of the man we've been learning about and I've got an ant crawling on me <laughs> hey, little biting ants up here <laughs> yep I know get that off my arm but we are um I am kind of sitting sideways on a rock up here, overlooking the lake, trying to find a quiet spot because there's so many people just jumping in the lake and having fun. But I wanted to share with you all the beautiful things up here that God made. It's so beautiful up here. But do you guys remember the name of the man that we've been learning about that was God's helper? Do you remember? No, it wasn't Zach. No. Moses you remember oh okay now yeah now he remembers that's right his name was Moses do you remember the Ten Commandments we talked about the commandments and I've got another ant on me oh that kind of I don't think I saw where ants are but there are some of them around here as well as some mosquitoes and other things but lots of fun and lots of fishing going on so that's that was yeah those are fun you you like the fish yes bears do like fish he really enjoyed the rainbow trout that <laughs> was yummy um, but we were talking about Moses and the rules, the laws that God gave him that were designed to protect us if we follow the rules. Do you remember the one, the one we were really talking about? Because there were 10, but there was kind of one that God said, put me first. He's supposed to be first. And then in John, Jesus told his disciples, remember those two things, if you love God with all your heart, love your neighbor as yourself, you covered everything else. That's, yeah, that's true. And you know, friends, I was wondering if you can think of a way that you can remember to love the Lord your God with all your heart. What does that actually mean? How are ways you can do that? Do you know? Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, true. Travis has some stuff he found up here that help him remember but he was a little upset. His heart bucket did not fit with the camping gear. We had way too much stuff packed in our car and that just didn't make the cut. But he still found some things he wants to show you. Should we see what Travis found that helps him? He, he thinks we should. So let's see, I've got it Ooh, with more ants. <laughs> I've got one of them here. That is super cool. Let's see if I can hold that up a little bit better. Wow, that is so amazing. Travis, where did you find that? Oh, just laying on the ground? That is cool. Do you know what it's called? No, you don't. Okay, it's called a pine cone. And the pine cone is where the pine trees come from. And this is a big one. And I see you have one more. You did, because you found a small one. That's right. You found those big and small. They come in all different shapes. God created them so amazing and then it's amazing to think that these little pine cones or the big ones grow into the huge pine trees now I know the ones right behind us look very small compared to us because they're so far in the background they're across the, the lake I don't know if you could see that lake they're across the lake, so they are looking small from this perspective, but they are huge. They're very, very tall. Yeah, they are. But that, well, I don't know. Can you tell me why that reminds you to love the Lord your God with all your heart? Oh, okay. So when Travis looks at God's creation and how amazing it is, it reminds him to say thank you God thank you for all the amazing things that you've made for us the things that you've given us yeah and then you remember and that helps you love the Lord your God with all your heart having a thankful heart is a very important thing being thankful for all the amazing things that God 
gave to us. So friends, I hope you have an amazing week. We will be back home next week. Yep. Oh, you want to stay? Mm, unfortunately, we can't stay. We have to go home. I know it's sad, but it's okay. We'll do camping trips again and there's lots more fun. To yeah, summer's not over, that's true. There's more fun things to do, <laughs> you're right. But we're gonna say goodbye for now because number one, I'm getting ants on my legs and I think I'm done with the ants. But love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you next week and maybe we're back with Travis. Yeah, okay, you're gonna come. Yeah, he's not gonna stay here by himself. Okay, he's gonna come home with me. I was wondering if maybe, no, he's gonna stay. Okay, have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.